What's up? What it do? Welcome or welcome back. It's your girl, Roshina, and I'm back with another one, guys. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing, y'all? Let's check it out. Let's get into it. So, it looks like there is trouble in paradise with Tamar Braxton and Jeremy Robinson, known as JR. So, the couple met on a taping of the Queen's Court, and they um, became... He proposed to her and they became engaged on the show. So they were not knowing each other too long before the engagement. Everything looked like, you know, it was just wonderful. I was happy for Tamar because I feel like everybody deserves love. But to me, it never seemed like they were a good couple, a perfect match. So anyhow... You know how Tamar do. We all know how she does. She went on the Dish Nation and she bragged to her friends and, you know, fans about how she's now an engaged woman. Her man, her man, her man. We know how Tamar like to pop her stuff. So, like I said, everything was looking good, guys. So, I'm like, okay, Tamar, I'm here for it. They, not too long after the engagement or whatnot, they started a YouTube TV series called all things black and white so on one of the episodes tamar talked about how she's a stepmom and not to mention right after the engagement her fans started to give her a little backlash because junior has five children by four different baby mamas so tamar felt the need that she needed to address what people were saying so she had this to say she said it's my birthday but i have to post the one who puts the cheesy smile on my face. It took me a while to realize that this wholesome, traditional love is the kind that I wanted and needed. We have six children between the two of us and they mean everything to me. So miss me with, he has four baby mamas. Thank God for them. We are blessed and drama free. Thank God for my best friend, my life partner. Okay. At that point, I'm thinking, okay, Tamar's a little desperate. She's okay. She'll take a man with five kids, four baby mamas. It's cool. But then, baby, I thought that was all over. Then his one of his baby moms had to come clear some things up. She said, uh-uh, no, ma'am, you will not step down. You will not take place for something that you didn't do. So this is what she had to say. She said, I have sat in silence for over a year, respecting everyone's privacy while they disrespected mine. I have sat in silence while this person has come into my son's life and caused nothing but chaos and unnecessary drama. While I will not speak on my son's other siblings and what type of relationship their father or this woman has with them, this woman is no way a bonus or stepmom to my son. My son does not mean everything to her and she has not thanked God for me and truthfully, none of his baby mamas. She has said demeaning, disrespectful, and outrageous things about how I have chosen to co-parent with my son's father and the efforts I have made to keep him involved. She has made no effort to meet me, get to know me as a woman or a mother, and she has caused my son's father to miss visitation weekends and birthdays. I'm fine with people sharing their version of the story that they've created for themselves on social media and television. But what we will not continue to do is involve my son that I raised in someone else's shenanigans. So that's what his baby mom had to say about, you know, the shenanigans um, Tamar is, you know, putting out on social media. After the baby mom had posted that, Junior had to come clear some things up as well. Crickets from Tamar, you know, she's still playing that, um, creating that, sticking over there to that narrative that everything's all fine and she's in love. This is her white chocolate, blah, blah, blah. But Junior took to social media and said, at Tamar, Braxton has always been an amazing mother and spoiled my children with love. Junior then went on to say, the mother of my children have been put in the public eye because of me and that's so unfair to them. They have been nothing 
short of amazing to my children. Sometimes a difference of opinion with no conversation to clear up. Miscommunication creates a bad cycle. I want everyone to be peaceful and I will and I will do my best to foster that. I'm sorry guys, it was kind of small. I couldn't read it. So Julia came to clear that up and um I'm thinking, okay, Tamar, girl, what you have gotten yourself into? You on that show popping your shit, acting like everything is all good, but this woman come to check you, saying some bad things about you, like you're not a good stepmom mother figure, and um that like they really don't, the kids don't even like you, sort of say. So one of the other ladies that Julia used to deal with, his ex-fiance. Um, she took to social media and had something to say, being that they were, you know, airing out their dirty laundry. So she posted some things about Junior saying that, um, pretty much saying that he has a black fetish, that he kind of prey on black women and kind of get them pregnant and kind of leave them pretty much, so to say. She said he kind of brags on that, the fact that, you know, he likes black women. And that's what he do. He impregnate them. He would like the mixed breed children. Then he's gone. So that's what she took to social media and said. Meanwhile, like I said, Tamar is still acting as if everything's all good. She has not addressed anything. You know, she has no worries. She has her white chocolate. And um, don't y'all can't. She cannot be touched if you let her tell it. Meanwhile, I'm still thinking there's some smoke in the air. She's still being a little quiet. Hadn't addressed the things that has been said by the ex-fiance or the baby mom. So, guys, meanwhile, I've been waiting on another episode of All Things Black and White to come out. And it's been a, w- a couple of weeks and I haven't seen a new update. So, I am really thinking, yeah, something's going on over there in uh, in paradise. You feel what I'm saying? Next thing I know, Tamar uploads this video of her car being burglarized. Okay, let's check out the video, guys. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking, like, where is she at? Is she at work, you know? The video was, like, kind of throwing me off. But you see these young, some people, they're going in her car, taking things out the car. Looks like they have a little getaway car over there on the side. But, like I said, it's quite a few of them. And um, they're taking their time as if um, it's their vehicle removing things from her car. Still, we haven't heard anything from Tamar about a breakup. Meanwhile, there's lots of speculation going on that her and Junior is not together anymore. We haven't heard a thing from either of them. So I took, I chose not to report on the story, although everybody else had been reporting on the story. So I was like, until I hear from them, I'm not saying anything. That was pretty much, that'd be pretty much my stance on anything. But yeah, I want y'all to keep watching this video. But I want y'all also to think about this. Yeah, it's mighty funny that all of this stuff is starting to take place. The car burglary and the um, speculation about her and Julia not being together anymore. Right in time of the release of her album or whatnot. So, I don't know if this is like some kind of publicity stunt. You know, y'all, I got... I can't get them words out sometimes. Oh, you know, what's really going on? So, let me know what you think about that. Anyway, the footage goes on and on. You see these people rambling through Tamar's car, doing what it, getting whatever. I don't know how much stuff she could possibly have in that car for them to still be getting things. They're casually walking around. Nobody's in a hurry. Like, you know, this is their vehicle and, you know, nothing's going on. Meanwhile, after Tamar, she loaded several clips of, you know, her car being burglarized. And then she posted this. She said... I got robbed at home. I'm not safe anywhere. I don't know why I keep getting violated. I had a lot in my car because I don't live anywhere because I'm not safe anywhere or with anyone. Yeah, what does that mean? That made us start, well, people start speculating even more. She says she's not safe anywhere or with any one meaning where's your you know your your white chocolate your 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 man your man he's not there to protect you where is junior we really started speculating are they separated now are they not together because why is she living out her car she says she don't um she don't stay anywhere where is why don't you have a place to stay tamar what is really going on and then she posted took the social media and posted this video secret that 
there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes and i'm no different than you so god laid something on my heart he said um you bring me peace, Lord. You bring me peace. When I am troubled, you bring me peace. Lord, you can do it. I'm better. Can please you bring me peace, Lord? Please bring me peace. Now let me hear you say. So underneath that video, Tamar had typed this caption. She said, "Lord, I hate it." I hate what's going on, but I trust you 100%. So while I'm here, while I don't understand, bring me peace over the situation because I know you are doing something that is good for my good. So once again, that left Tamar fans led to believe that there is trouble in paradise, that it is true that maybe her and JR is not together anymore. So... Meanwhile, like I said, she has pretty much been silent and, ha and hasn't spoken out about the situation. So fans have still been speculating. And then next thing you know, she's popped another video. Acting What's as poppy? if she's all jolly and nothing's hey, wrong. Check it out. Um, <clears throat> I'm sitting in my car waiting for um Lolo to get home from school and um hey, so i wanted to hop on because i've been getting all these texts like oh my god you okay don't i want to make sure you good i want to make sure you good and y'all not even gonna hold y'all like i'm good <laughs> like um i just come to the realization that um It's weird for some of y'all to see people really in worship, like not Instagram worship, not I'm trying to sell some records worship. So I'm, let me get on here and sing my new gospel song, like in worship. And I just like most of y'all don't know the Lord. Y'all don't know the Lord. And, and, and those of us who but I didn't I didn't wake up this morning feeling defeated or feeling feeling like I, I can't you know go on or nothing like that like I get up at like 6 30 in the morning y'all and I get my baby ready for school I take him to school every day and in between that time I gotta get ready to go to work and in between that time you know I actually pray <laughs> in the morning and um you know running businesses and being a single mother and then you know having your own triggers and having your own life you know issues whatever you know life is not easy and so like when you're in prayer when you are you know um talking to god you know what i'm saying like there are things that in your life that you know you, you are talking to him about things you're not happy about things you know that you're going through it hasn't defeated you it hasn't taken you down but these are things that you are talking to God about and you know you gotta really be specific because there's a lot of people tugging on God <laughs> about things you know and this morning I just I needed some peace over some situations and things that I myself can't control. I'm in my right mind. I'm not struggling mentally. I am not, you know, going through a tough time where it's like I am mentally spent. Although I have been there. That's not where I am now. I, I know where my help 
comes from, my real help comes from. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, since I got robbed and all of that, like, I've been in therapy every day. Because, you know, triggers are real. And I am totally responsible when it comes to my mental health. So I just wanted to let y'all know that being in worship, praising God, it's not abnormal. It's not abnormal. It's actually something that we should actually see more of. And I feel like that's why it's so unrecognizable because people don't see people in real worship. <laughs> you know, real worship. And so I just wanted to hop on and let y'all know that um, God is good. He, his mercy endures forever. And, you know, I, I lean on his grace and his mercy and I know where his hands is and it's on me <laughs> so um I just want to let y'all know that okay that video went on a little longer she went on to you know promote her album and blah 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 still not addressing you know the headlines what people are saying what's going on so there's a lot of subliminals going on, but nobody is saying anything. Nobody is addressing, you know, the speculation that is going on. So no sooner than I said all that, I'm thinking, you know, I'm not touching it until somebody addresses it. So a couple of days went by, maybe a day or two. And then Jeremy, Mr. J.R., he took to his social media and said this. So many questions, so many assumptions. I want to answer all that I can with respect. Yes, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person. What happened and why? That's our private place. No, I never cheated. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place and her car was burglarized. No, I never cared about the fame. Who reveals the most embarrassing moments in their life to find fame? I have always represented famous people. And the truth is, I was in an amazing place financially and mentally. I turned down Queen's Court several times before I gave in. Ultimately, I fell in love and it did not end how I wanted it. So I want to heal. Tamar and I will always be friends and family for life. Thank you for respecting our privacy. So that is what Junior took to social media and posted. After Junior posted that to social media, that kind of put pressure on Tamar to come and address what has been, what is being said and what he had to say. So this is what Tamar came to say to address what Junior said. Let's listen to what she had to say and I'll be back with my the rest of my commentary. What do you guys think about Jr. saying that um, he is the one that ended the relationship? He said that he ended it to re focus on getting back, key word is back, to positive energy and being a better person. So is he saying Tamar is not a good person, that she do not exude positive energy and that he needed to get out of that situation? He also noted that um, he did not need Tamar for fame. He said that... Um, he already represented famous people. If you don't know, Jr. is a criminal defense attorney. So he said that he already was bred up, that he did not need her. And he was already financially stable before he got with her. So I just wanted to know your thoughts and opinion about that. Is he saying Tamar is negative? We all know Tamar can be, be very petty at times. And, you know, so... Is she the reason the relationship ended? Just let me know your thoughts and opinion. Done a lot to work on my mental health and change who I used to be into who I am now. And um, I can't help if people fall into that perception because it's easy. And I get it, you know. But I won't let anybody hold me captive to my past and things that I have overcome. I... Today, I'm mentally healthy, 
and I'm happy. Um, I'm hurt, but such is life. I'm surprised, but okay. Um, but I just want everybody to know that um, the devil is a dirty liar and I've worked my entire behind off. I funded this entire tour. Live Nation gave me the opportunity. I've done a lot to work on my mental health and um, I am not going to let the devil or anyone, I don't care what they say, what they put out, what they, the battle is not mine. And I'm not even gonna address or talk about or fall into the traps of the devil because I live by the word. And so that's what I'm doing, okay? I'm being obedient and I'm going on tour and I'm gonna have a blast. And we are going to sell out all of these dates for all of these amazing, beautiful. Um, I am not going to let the... Okay guys, so now that Tamar has come out and addressed the situation, what are you guys' thoughts and opinion about what is going on? Do you guys really think it's over? Do you think it was because of the the burglary in the car or were they already over? Um, what are your thoughts and opinion? Do you guys think this is all a publicity stunt to promote Tamar's new album? Or do you really think they have called it quits? Because like I said before, to me, JR and Tamar was not a good fit. It's not even so much that he has four, five children by four different baby moms. It just seems as if he is not a family type man. It seems like he is the type of person that likes to play around in the streets and enjoy himself. And maybe he do like, you know, black women. Or maybe he just have this fetish with black women as one of his women previously stated. Um, but maybe I don't think that's something that he planned to do like long term. He just liked to fl floss them and um, let them go. Let me know you guys thoughts and opinion. I do feel sorry for Tamar, guys. I feel like she just cannot find love. I also feel like Tamar is just a little desperate to find love. She just dives right in, not giving herself a break, not giving herself time enough to heal from her previ previous situation. So, I don't know, guys. And she always seems to like to chase that bag. And maybe that's what's getting her in trouble. Maybe that's the reason why she can't find real love. Like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you guys for su subscribing to the channel. Make sure, sure you guys thumbs up the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going up.